The seasons are changing, there's a chill in the air, so grab your favorite cozy sweater and join me as I share with you five shave soaps for the fall, 2020 edition, coming right up. Welcome back to the Lather Hog channel. I'm your host, John. And if this is your first time here, we talk about all things wet shaving on this channel. Now, whether or not you actually change up your scents to match the seasons or the weather, um, these are just five soaps that I really associate with the fall season. Now, I do want to get this out of the way. There are no pumpkin related scents at all. If you're looking for a recommendation on a good pumpkin scent, this is not the video for you. Personally, what the fall means to me is tobacco, apples, maple syrup, also spices, and really any notes, particularly woodsy, you know, pine, cedar type notes that just evoke the outside. I know for myself, uh, I try to get as much time in the outdoors as we can before the chill of winter really, really sets in. So my apologies to the pumpkin spice lovers, there are none on the list today. One thing before we get into the list is that this is in no particular order, so enjoy as you see fit. All right, with that out of the way, let's get into honorable mentions. And honorable mention for this year is the same as it was for my 2019 list, and that is Barrister and Man Nocturne. So Barrister and Man Nocturne, this is a scent that captures fall in New England. Nocturne really has most of the notes that I'm looking for in a fall scent. It's got the scent of apples, newly fallen leaves, wood smoke, and a touch of cinnamon. Yeah, just there's a big punch of that smokiness of uh, the, the leaves and it's quickly chased by the sweetness of apples and again that the spice of the cinnamon. It really does remind me of apple picking, one of the things that we do, uh, one of the things I do with my family every year. The main reason Nocturne is an honorable mention is it's not currently in production. However, through you know secondary markets, BST pages on Facebook, Reddit, and your favorite um, message board, uh, you might be able to find this one. And if you do, I highly recommend it if it sounds like something that's up your alley. So again, that honorable mention was Nocturne by Barrister and Man. For my next pick, I'll be talking about Amaretto by Moon Soaps. First off, my God, look at that label. I've been gushing about the label work um, in particular from Moon Soaps for a while now. Uh, this is not to take away from really just a great soap. I really do love all the label work of Moon Soaps, but the one for Amaretto, it's just eye-catching. There's something about this color combination. You don't come across it a lot and it just pops when you're kind of looking to see what to use. If you're not sure, this Amaretto always stands out from the crowd. Now off the tub, it's just mouth-watering. Uh, there's like a cherry almond vibe to it. If you like gourmand scents, you know, scents that are based on foods, this one is one of the best I've come across this year. The scent of Amaretto, it's sweet, warm, inviting. It kind of makes me picture, you know, sitting outdoors at a cafe with a, you know, your favorite coffee, cappuccino, etc., cetera, uh, and just enjoying kind of uh, the sights of a bustling city uh, in the fall. Really just a fantastic offering for Moon Soaps. That again was Amaretto. Next up from Dr. John's, we have 13. So starting right off, 13's got a bit of a spicy label. It's got a um, pinup style devilish woman here. It's a bit darker, but very eye-catching. And you know what? The scent actually is quite masculine as well. The scent notes include Oud, Hedion, Musk, and Iso E Super. To my nose, this is a very masculine scent. It's classy. It's a bit on the darker side. There's some powerhouse notes at play here, but it is very smoothly blended. And I think it's you know perfectly suitable for both casual use, out running errands and whatnot, or a you know date night with a special someone um, or at a nice restaurant. It really fits well in either scenario, uh, which makes this one a really versatile scent. So again, this was 13 by Dr. Johns. Moving on to the number three spot, we've got Zaharoff Signature. So Zaharoff is a fragrance house that teamed up with Gentleman's Nod to bring this offering here. Now while there are a ton of great notes in this scent, to me this is an excellent modern take on a fougere. Fougeres typically are very clean. They are trying to evoke the scent of what a fern would smell like. And in wet shaving, there are tons of scents that kind of evoke that fougere as well, uh, most notably Brut, which you can find at your local grocery store or pharmacy. Zaharoff's signature is gentlemanly, it's classic, it's got some cleanness, 
powderiness, uh, some greenness in there. Uh, I think it really, you know, matches the mood if you're dressed up. I know for folks who have smelled the set, uh, who fall in love with it, typically run out and grab the matching you know, fragrance. So uh, if you're looking for that classy vibe uh, that has a bit of a modern edge to it, definitely check out this one, Zaharoff Signature. Now with Zaharoff Signature being a fragrance and kind of stemming from a fragrance house, it's time we go into the cologne dupe part of the list. So we're down to the last two. And at number two, we have um, Bisangari Man for West Coast Shaving is The Soloist. The scent is inspired by Maison Margiela's Jazz Club. Soloist includes the scent notes of vetiver, lemon, peppercorn, vanilla, tobacco leaf, neroli, rum, styrax, and clary sage. This one really reminds me, if anyone's familiar with uh, another fragrance, Dolce & Gabbana's The One, it's got that same vibe. I would definitely call this a night out type scent. While it's a more complex blend, the star player here really is tobacco, one of my favorite notes uh, for the cooler weather. Now besides tobacco, it's got a little bit of sweetness from vanilla and there's a boozy note to it. So rum is, you know, offered as one of the scent notes. I think that's what kind of puts it in the night out category for me, enjoying, you know, uh, a nice bourbon, a mixed drink, what have you. If you were looking to add a tobacco type scent to your shaving den and didn't know where to start, I would wholeheartedly recommend this one. And again, we're talking about The Soloist uh, from Zangari Man for West Coast Shaving. Finally, last but not least, this will probably not be much of a surprise. Uh, we're talking about cologne dupes, we're talking about tobacco, if that's a hint to you. If you haven't guessed already, my final pick at the number one spot is Declaration Grooming's Massacre of the Innocents. So Massacre of the Innocents is inspired by Parfums de Marley's Herod, and I could list off all these scent notes, but in the end, it's a beautiful tobacco scent. It's got vanilla in there. It's got sweetness, but it's not cloying. And honestly, when the temperature drops, I love using you know this soap set. I love using the actual fragrance itself. It does the sweet tobacco thing so well. It's warm, it's inviting, and I think it perfectly complements the season. You know, this one might just straight up be my favorite release from Declaration Grooming, if not, you know, amongst the top three of my favorites. There's not really much more that I could say about this one that I haven't said before. So if you're the least bit curious on Massacre of the Innocents, uh, run out, go grab it right now. I don't think you'll be disappointed. All right, so that's gonna do it for the list for this year. What are your thoughts? What are your favorites? Did I miss it? Uh, let me know in the comments below. So whether you live in a place that has changing in the seasons or has one type of weather all year round, I do hope that you enjoyed uh, today's list. At the very least, you can take it as five shea soaps that I just greatly enjoy the scent of. I do wanna thank you for joining me today, for your time and watching this video. I hope you guys have a great day, take care, and I'll catch you next time.